Hello, second grade Smarties, and welcome to your first Wit and Wisdom reading lesson. So as you can see on the screen, you see our own special reading classroom. And every time that we read a new book or so we have books over here, and we will also have paintings that we explore. So every time that we start a new module, our classroom is going to change. So looking at this classroom that we have going on right now, I want you to think what are some things that you see that might tell you what we are learning about? I want you to think what are some things that you see in our classroom that might tell you what we will be learning about in reading? All right, I hope you got a chance to think about it. So we are starting a brand new module, and that means that we are starting a unit of talking about a certain theme. So our theme this year is called a season of change. Ooh, a season of change. And what I like to think about, we have four important questions that we have for every lesson that we talk about. So on this first page, we have an essential question. And I like to think of that as a big pie of pizza, a whole pizza. We can't eat a whole pizza in one bite. We have to take little bites at a time. So our first big pizza question that we have to eat at a little bit at a time is how does change impact people in nature. And as you can see, I made the word change and impact big. Those are going to be two vocabulary words. So when you think of the word change, what does that look like? What does change look like? If something changes in the classroom, does that mean it looks the same or does it look different? It looks different, right? So how does difference how does different things impact? Impact is, I want you to think of how is it important? How is that difference important to people and nature? So we are going to have this big pizza question for this entire unit. We want to know how does change, how does difference impact people and nature? All right, now we have a pizza slice. So we're taking a slice out of that pizza and we're going to, we can't eat a whole piece of pizza, right? We have to take bites at a time. So our pizza slice question is, what do I notice? Ooh, if I notice, that means I am seeing. Good job. What do I notice and wonder? If I am wondering, that means I am asking Questions. So I ask questions with words, with our question words, starting with where is something? When did this happen? What is going on? Why did that happen? How do seasons change? Or who was at the beginning of the story? So we are going to be noticing and wondering in a poem called Weather. Ooh, I hope that's giving you more hints about what we're going to be talking about. So this entire lesson is about noticing and wondering. I want you to say notice and wonder. Good job. When I notice, that's what I'm, it's when I'm talking about things that I see. So if I notice something, I am seeing something. And when I wonder, it means I ask questions. So I want you to look at these pictures. These are pictures of our books that we are going to be reading. I want you to think, what do you notice about the pictures of the front page of these books. What do you notice? I'll read the titles to you. How do you know it's fall? A color of his own. Why do leaves change color? Sky tree and the little yellow leaf. Hmm. So looking at the cover photos of these books that we'll be reading, what do you think we're going to be learning about? I want you to tell me what you think we're going to be learning about in the Ed Puzzle. So make sure to check the right side to, 
to find the question. So what do you think we are learning about right now? Mm, can't wait to see your answers. So today we are talking about noticing and wondering. So I want you to look at this painting. This is a painting that we are going to be exploring. We have three other paintings to this side as well we will be looking at. But right now, what I want you to do is look at this painting. Take a second to look at it. If I'm noticing, that means I am seeing things. So I'm going to think out loud for you for something that I notice. I notice that these two people are dressed very nice. And I wonder, where are they going? Where are these two people going? So noticing means I'm seeing something. Wondering means I ask questions. So I noticed one thing and I asked a wonder. I asked a question. So what I want you to do right now is to take a second to look at this. And in your Ed Puzzle, I want you to tell me what are two things that you see in this painting. All right, so this is going to pause so you can keep looking at this and tell me what are two things you notice in this painting. Now, I ask a wonder. That means I ask a question. And if you look over here, I have my question words. These are the words that I start a question with. And if you notice, it has that WH whistle. It has that diagraph WH. So when I am wondering, that means I'm asking questions. Asking questions help us understand and learn more about what we are studying. So my wonder that I had was where, there's that question word where, where are they going? I might also have the wonder, why are they dressed up so nicely? Why are they dressed up? Where are they going? So I want you to think, what is a question that you have about this painting? Okay, in your Ed Puzzle, you're gonna tell me one wonder you have about this painting. So take a second again, look at the painting and tell me, what is something that you are wondering about? Wondering helps us understand more of what's happening in a story, in a painting. It helps us have that growth mindset. It helps us think outside the box. All right, we're gonna move on. Here we go. We're gonna see some more paintings in three, two, one. All right, so these are our four paintings that we will be exploring. Notice I didn't give you a name of these paintings. I can't reveal that yet, but these are paintings that we will be exploring and we will be studying just like when we read books and we notice and wonder and think about what's going on in those stories. We can do the same thing with art. So this was the painting that you just saw. I want you to think about these four paintings. What do you notice? So what do you see? And what are some questions you might have about these four paintings? So looking at each painting, I want you to think, what are some things that you see? I'm going to think out loud for you right now. And I want you to think out loud too. I notice that this painting right here doesn't have any people in it. Hmm, is that something you noticed? I also notice that this picture there aren't any leaves on the trees. Hmm. So I want you to think, what are some things that you notice that are in the, that are the same in some of the paintings? And what are some things that are different? What are some things that you notice and wonder? Check your Ed Puzzle to make sure I added a question. So you might have to tell me what you notice and wonder, but if it doesn't stop, that means we're going to keep going. Got it? All right, and what are you wondering about? What are some questions that you might have? Why do you think these paintings are put together? Why do you think we're looking at these paintings together? I'm wondering, I already have a question. I wonder why are there no people in this painting? 
where is this painting at? Is this supposed to be a picture of a place? So think about some questions that you have about these paintings. All right, so we have noticed and wondered about some art pieces. Now we are going to be noticing and wondering about a poem. And this poem is called Weather by Eve Merriam. And as you saw, our, our screen changed because I clicked on this picture. And this is the author of the poem. Her name is Eve Merriam. And she wrote the poem Weather. So check your bodies, make sure that you have listening ears, your eyes are on the screen, follow my cursor. And I want you to start thinking about things that you notice. Maybe you see patterns and start thinking about questions you might have. All right, here we go. I'm gonna read this poem to you. Dot, a dot, 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 a dot, dot, spotting the window pane. Spack, a spack, speck, flick, a flack fleck freckling the window pane. A spatter, a scatter, a wet cat, a clatter, a splatter, a rumble outside. Umbrella, 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 bumper shoot, barrel of rain. Slosh a galosh, slosh a galosh, slither and slather a glide. A puddle, a jump, a puddle, a jump, a puddle, a jump, puddle, splosh. A juddle, a pump, a luddle, a dump, a pud muddle, jump in and slide. Hmm, take a second. What are some things that you noticed or heard in that poem? What are some things that you noticed and heard in that poem? When you were listening it to it, what are some things that you heard? What are some things that you heard? I heard, I'm, I'm thinking that you might agree. I heard the word window pane two times. Did you hear the word window pane two times? Yeah, I also, this word stuck out because I had to read it slowly. I heard umbrella four times. What are some things that you notice in this poem? Okay, so in your Ed Puzzle, tell me one thing you notice. What is, what is something that you notice? And it could just be the words. You could notice that there might be the same word over and over again. You might notice that it might be talking about something specifically, or you might notice that there were similar sounds, so letter sounds. So write your notice. And now I want you to think, what are some things that you are wondering about with this poem? So I wonder, what is this poem talking about? What do you think it's talking about? It says, spotting on the window pane, freckling the window pane, slither and slather, a puddle, a jump, bumper shoot, what I wonder, what is a bumper shoot? Hmm. Barrel of rain. Huh. So we know this poem is called Weather. So I wonder, how does this poem relate to weather? What is this poem about? Tell me your wonder. Tell me one wonder that you have about this poem. All right, you guys are doing so good. Good learners do hard things. All right, now we're moving on. Everyone go, moving on. Good job, all right. So now we are going into our deep dive. This is when we explore things in reading that help us become better readers. So today we're going to talk about vocabulary. Now this is a pizza bite question. Everyone take a bite out of your pizza slice. And this is what we want to think about. What do you think about when you hear the word change? So the word change is our vocabulary word. Now, we can find the vocabulary is when we talk about what a word means. How do we use that word in a sentence? What, what does it mean to us when we read it? So 
we can use a tool called a dictionary to help us learn about meanings of words. So if I click on my dictionary, and if you saw, I just clicked this picture, and it's taking me to an online dictionary. So this is called the learnersdictionary.com. Now, if you had a book, you would look, it goes in alphabetical order, but this learner's dictionary, you can put the word that you need into it and it'll bring it straight up for you. If we had a dictionary, we would have to go in alphabetical order. So we would look and see and look for words that have that CH, so ch, and we would look for the word change. So when I want to know the meaning of a word, so for change, a definition is the same thing as meaning. So the meaning of change means to peak, to become different or to make someone or something different. And dictionaries will give you sentences that use that word in the right way. So here are, her, here are the sentences that it gives us and how to use the word change, changes or changed in the right way. Her mood is changes every hour. So that means her mood is different every hour. He's changed in appearance. That could also be his appearance has changed. So that means the way he looks is different. Ooh, I think this one might help us. The leaves change in color from green to red in the fall. Do we see that kind of change in the fall? Mm-hmm, we see that difference in the fall time. It also means that we can make something or someone different. These events have changed me in my attitude. So these events, so something has happened in my life that makes me feel different. He's changed his appearance with a new haircut. His new haircut has changed his appearance. So he has been made different his haircut made him look different. You can't change human nature. So I want you to turn to a grown up, your pet rabbit, your pet dog, and I want you to tell them a sentence using the word change in the right way. Remember, change means to make different or to become different. So go ahead and tell a grown up, tell your grandma, tell your grandpa, tell your pet snake, Tell them a sentence using the word change. All right, second grade Smarties, happy first reading lesson. I'm so glad that you were here for it, and I can't wait to keep exploring some new paintings and some books with you, and make sure to check that you completed your Ed Puzzle. That is your assignment for reading time. I hope that you guys keep having a wonderful day of learning. Remember to have a growth mindset. Good learners do hard things. Good learners also make mistakes. I hope you guys are working hard and don't forget to ask questions if you need help. Bye guys.